What's up everybody? It is Tyler from Dirt Road Country here. It is day four of CMA Fest and I have a great artist with me. He is from Woodstock, Georgia, right in yes, the heart of the state. Bryce Leatherwood is with me. What's going on, man? Oh man, just enjoying this beautiful weekend. We got uh, good weather today, thank God. We were looking at some rain showers happening, but uh, but it's going to be cleared up here in a little bit, so it's going to be great and we're uh, ready to go play. You know what the beauty of it is too? It's not that hot. It's not that hot, thank God. The other day, man, I, I was I was about done. It was it was about 88 degrees outside mm -hmm. and too hot for Bryce, too hot. But it's, it's, it's perfect right now. Same here. So as you are saying, you're going to play, you got a new song out, out called right now, The One My Daddy Found. Yep. Can you talk about that one? It's a great, great, great song. Yeah, man, we wrote that song uh, early part of 23 and uh, 2023 we wrote that song and uh it turned out really good man it was just a almost a gift to my family so uh we got to uh to give them that and uh they, they loved that song it was for them so uh it was kind of my my uh my gift back to them so i'm, I'm very happy that uh that they love it and it's turned out so well i love it so how's your week been at cma fest so far because like we were just saying it's been hot as heck it's been hot it's been hot but at the same time man it's just it's great to be doing this for such a great cause and uh you know cma fest is all for kids in school providing music equipment for them yeah. and uh and that's the that's the whole the whole point out here man so we're having a great time love to hear that now cma fest is one of those really special experiences for artists there's another one that is called the grand Ole opry Yes. And it's stepping into the circle. It's the hallowed circle. Not many people get to step into it. And you get to make your debut, I believe, September 14th? Yes, September 14th. How excited are you for that? That is a big milestone. I only cried for 20 minutes. So uh, it, uh, it, uh, it means the world to me. That's, uh, you don't make it till you play the Opry. And uh, it's the biggest milestone. Of, it'll be the biggest milestone of my career. So uh, I'm very excited to get on that stage and uh, make some heroes proud. So uh, that's the goal. Yes, sir. Congratulations on that. And speaking of other milestones, you won The Voice back in 2022. Yes. How, how did that experience get you ready for this moment right here? Oh, man, you know, like we're doing now, interviews, you know, talking and b being good in front of a camera, you know, a lot of that out there in L.A. But, uh, no, it was just really great to, uh, to, to learn how to be myself and, and, and be myself in front of millions of people. So, uh, you know, it was a great training camp to come up here to Nashville and have a great time and, uh, and uh, learn how to be an artist. I love that. Now, before I let you go, there's one thing I want to talk about because I love Georgia. I love the Georgia people. I went to yeah. UGA, and you went to Southern. Now, being from Woodstock, it's not too far away from Nashville. Probably, what, like three and a half hours, yeah, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. What was the change like for you coming from Woodstock up to Nashville and going through all that? Oh, man, it was great. You know, I packed myself in a U-Haul, hauled up here, and I slept on a couch for six months. So that was a change. So I was I was on a couch for from January to July. So, uh it was uh, a great, a great load of fun being in a house full of musicians and a total change of landscape for me. But uh, yeah. but uh, I love my home in Georgia, but I love I love Nashville, Tennessee, just as much. Hey, you can always go home for the weekend too, which is the beauty of it. Yes, go go skiing on the lake, uh, Lake Chattooga up in North Georgia. That's my favorite. That's my happy place. But uh, but I love it up here in Nashville. That's yeah. right. And after the festival, it feels like everything is getting into the swing of things for the summer. Yeah. You're going on tour. We can talk about that. You yeah. got a lot of fun things coming up. Yeah, so we, 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 got, we got a couple of big shows coming up. We actually just wrapped up our headlining yes, tour. Did. Just just wrapped up that. We went to, uh, I think, 12 different cities, and it was incredible. But we're, we're about to have a few more shows this summer. And uh, we got one with Trace Atkins coming up in Iowa, which Hell I'm yeah. so excited about. But uh, we got a lot of great things coming on the horizon, man. We're excited. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, no problem, if man. you don't follow Bryce on Instagram, TikTok, other social media platforms, go do it right now. Go stream the one my daddy found. It is an awesome, upbeat song. It is wholesome. Bryce, thank you so much for joining hey, me, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you, man.